Hey guys, today we are going to learn cancellation scope. We need to understand what is the cancellation scope, what is the body activity, what is the cancellation handler, how to use it, everything we are going to see with an example. Myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to Expo Hub channel. Now look at this cancellation scope. This cancellation scope is a default activity. If you highlight this activity, it says default activity. And if you look at the property, it tells you it is a system dot activities. It's part of that. And let's go to the project. You would see UiPath dot system dot activity. So this activity is part of this. And this is a default package. Get installed anytime you open a process, open a new project or a new process. So you don't have to install any separate package to use this activity. So that is the first point. Now the second point to use this cancellation scope or to see an example. I am going to use this in combination with the activity called parallel activity and why I am using a parallel activity this will be soon be very clear. Now with this parallel activity I am going to drag and drop the cancellation scope within it and then I am going to give you an example. So, so to start I will start with a simple example you need to book a ticket let's say. So if you book a ticket I ask you you have got three different sites to book it one is site A, one is site B and in site C. So these are the three different area where the bot should go and start trying to book the ticket. Let's say you are booking a movie ticket. So if you are booking a movie ticket all of a sudden the bot finds in the site B a ticket has been booked. The moment it finds on the site B the ticket has been booked you do not want the same movie ticket thrice you need only one movie ticket. So in such a case the bot should immediately go to site A and cancel the transaction and should go to the site C and cancel the transaction. Okay, So this is a simple example I am taking so that I can demonstrate the cancellation scope. So once you get an understanding you can think of various logics where it can be properly utilized. Okay, So this will be a simple example. So let's start utilizing it. So it should understand the site B has booked and it should cancel the booking in the other two sites. Okay, so that is the state. So for this we will be using three different cancellation scopes because site A, site B, site C. Okay, these are the three different cancellation scopes. Now what I want to do, let's imagine uh, it is going to a site and try to click on a page and then click on that movie and then so there will be a couple of steps, right? Let's say the site B takes to book a ticket it takes about let's say 8 seconds and the site B to book a ticket it takes let's say 3 seconds and the site C to book a ticket let's say uh, you will take about the bot will take about 4 seconds ok site A 8 second 3 4 second. So instead of we designing the entire uh, workflow I will be simply using a delay activity just to uh, replace that it's going to take that much of time before it could book a ticket. Okay, so I'll use a delay activity in all the three site A, site B, site C and for the site A what we have decided it will take 8 seconds. So I'm going to define that 8 second over here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 8 second. Same way for the site B it is going to take we have decided 3 seconds. It takes 3 seconds so I will take 3 seconds and then so you can put all the activities those are required to book a ticket. Okay, you can use them but for, for demonstration purpose I am simply using a delay activity. Just to demonstrate this is going to take so, so much of time. This is 0, 0 and 0, 4 seconds. So which is the fastest? The middle one, the side B, right? This is the fastest. Okay, so the moment it goes through that it should write a line stating the ticket has been booked on site A. Okay, so I'll use a right line activity below this and I'm going to say the ticket has a ticket is booked on site A. So let me copy this and I'll use a right line activity for the site B also and I'm going to repeat the same and I'm going to say on site B. Okay, same way for the site C again use a right line activity. So we have created a very simple workflow and here I am going to say the ticket has been booked on site C.
okay let's see what went wrong okay double quote fine so everything we have written so once it books it taking so much of time it will write a line stating okay the ticket has been booked on site a or site b right or site c just check this it is you have written it properly okay site b and this is site a and this is site c okay so everything has been written properly now let's say it has to come and cancel it okay it has to come and cancel so i will put in the cancellation handler you should include all those activities for which uh, through which it will cancel that transaction let's say close the browser log out or anything right that sh those activities should be entered in the cancellation handler and all those activities to perform that task should be there in the body of that cancellation scope okay whatever activity required to book a ticket so all those should be in the in the cancellation scope so one thing to remember let's say the cancellation handler started working so before it could work whatever the activities which has not been completed yet only those will get cancelled if something which has already been worked upon that cannot be cancelled let's say uh, it went to a page and then it selected the movie until then it has gone then you by the time this site has already booked so it will go and cancel it will close the page so something so you have to decide on the logic so let's first understand this okay so cancellation handler so here i am simply saying um, a site a cancelled so uh, after cancelling it will write a line instead of message book let's use a write line and i will say site a has been or site a cancelled has been cancelled okay the same thing let me copy it i need to mention it for all the sites and here i will say site b remove that a and say b and site b has been cancelled and for the site c again drag and drop one more right line activity so once i run this it will be very very clear to you what i was trying to say so site c has been cancelled okay this are the that's all i have done now one of the important part for the cancellation how the cancellation handler will know ki okay on site b it is booked how it will know so for that that's why i have used a parallel activity and within that i have used this cancellation scope parallel activity has got a feature if you highlight the parallel activity there is a feature called condition now in the condition if i say true so what happens instead of it running all the branches so how many branches we have got we have got three branches right within the parallel activity this are the one two and three branches for the three sides so three branches we have so when you set for the parallel activity this is the parallel activity when you set the condition as true that means it will see if one of this branch is completing its task so for this branch the task the body the body it will see okay for this body for this branch the body has completed its task the moment it finds one of the branch in its body the all the task has been completed immediately it will cancel all the other branches it will send a signal saying okay cancel the all other branches it will not act on them so the moment the cancel signal is received this cancellation handler will understand that this branch has completed the task and it has come to this so the cancellation handler will execute for rest of this so that's why i am using this cancellation scope parallel in combination with the parallel activity okay so let's run it and we will understand let me run this okay let's see okay the execution is going on okay so what is the output you have got the ticket is booked on site b that means this particular set of activity executed and it printed the message saying the ticket has been booked on site b and below that you see site a has been cancelled so this message got executed and then on the right hand side site c site c has been cancelled do you see so this is how so so this is how we are able to implement the logic the moment it finds all the activities within the body of cancellation scope is completed all the rest of the branches it should go and cancel this is how a cancellation handler works so if you got this example i am pretty sure you can 
think of more different logics if you got to know how it works then you can think of a lot of more better logics and can work on a project so thank you so much guys for watching this i hope this video has added a lot of knowledge to your knowledge bank and thank you for connecting with expo hub channel please do share and subscribe to our channel and we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care bye bye